You want to cut your car's environmental impact? Well, now you can. A new economic and green system to fuel a standard car using hydrogen has been launched today. You can now fill up at home with your very own hydrogen generator, as Sky's Darren Little reports. This green box in a factory in Sheffield can help answer many of our energy problems. It basically converts water and electricity into hydrogen, the super fuel that's supposed to power all our cars in 10 years' time. There are two really big problems when it comes to hydrogen. It costs an awful lot to create in an environmentally friendly way. And if your car runs on it, like this one, there's virtually nowhere to fill it up. This is one of only three refueling stations in Great Britain. And it would cost billions of pounds to fully equip the country. That's where the green box comes in. It's your own personal hydrogen maker. And thanks to this little sheet of plastic, it doesn't cost the earth. This is the electrolyzer, which turns water and electricity into hydrogen. Until now, they've contained platinum, which is very expensive. This doesn't. So instead of costing $2,000 to generate a kilowatt of electricity, this costs 164. It will be an evolutionary process. It'll take many years, but we have to start somewhere. And I believe the technology we've developed and the announcements we're making today do open the route to the hydrogen age beginning because this will be economically viable. Hydrogen is so attractive because when burnt or used in a fuel cell, the only emission is water. This modified Ford Focus will run on either hydrogen or petrol, but has a range of just 25 miles on hydrogen, enough for most people's daily commute, and when you run out, you can still get home and refuel. I think the idea of having a home filling station is a good one, and other people are doing that as well. Uh, you can charge a car at home, just like plugging a hybrid car in at home to the electricity supply. So that's good. If you have hydrogen at home, that's brilliant. And the, then you'll be able to travel out. But still, you won't do long distance journeys because you'll run out of fuel after a couple of hundred miles. This development could also make a difference to hydrogen fuel cell powered vehicles like these currently being tested at the University of Birmingham, making them far more affordable. So while we might not be in the hydrogen age yet, the question is, will this be the big breakthrough or just a well-intentioned attempt. Darren Little, Sky News, Sheffield.